My name is Rowan Horning. Uh, I'll be giving a very short presentation on the uh, basics of nurture, uh, a plug-in for Vim. Uh, so what is it? It is a plug-in, and from the nurture GitHub uh, README, nurture allows you to explore your file system, to open files and directories. It presents the file system to you in the form of a tree, which you can manipulate with the keyboard and a mouse, and it allows you to perform simple file operations. So basically, if you go to your favorite plugin repository and get it, and then load it into uh, your Vim of preference, I like using GVim just because I'm still very, I need my menus when I can't do things kind of guy. So. Um, Oh, this is GVM. So this is GVM on uh, on the left. On the right is I just have Vim running. I was just going to show it just so you can sort of see the differences. Um, so nerd tree, once it's in, you just you give it the nerd tree command. If whoops, if you actually do it right, place no. What's going on? Probably you have to do column. That's yeah, what I thought I was taking. Well, well I, uh, wait, I'm not going into my command. Oh, this is kind of going swimmingly well so far. Escape. Colon. Oh, no, my colon command is not. if you there's the queue. Yeah. Oh. I've never run into that before. Um, do, uh, do V. Uh, visual. Just type in visual. And, and now try, try calling. It's not working. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, yeah, it's weird that it's gone. Okay, well, so shift Q. Well, there we go. Okay, so. <laughs> it says type visual to go to normal mode. Yeah, well, that he can type a command and then type visual once he's done, I think. Okay. So basically, it's nerd tree. Now do I have to say nerd? What is that? Uh, so you're in X mode. He yeah. Uh, yeah, and then type visual again. Voila. Okay, well, now we're going to in another way. And so it, somehow it's... Let's try the colon. It's the colon's broken, so... Yeah, yeah uh, I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know what happened. I think I know what happened. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if if you in, if you install an international keyboard and accidentally switch into your international keyboard, <laughs> yeah, the colon's in the wrong the spot. In the wrong spot. <laughs> Which one was it? I think it's Swedish. I've been learning Swedish. Oh, oh interesting. And so, <laughs> can, can you say seven in Swedish? Say what? Seven. Seven? No. I haven't actually gotten that far into the numbers. It's unpronounceable. No, is it? Okay. Somebody tried to help me with it. I couldn't do it. Okay. So, when you type <laughs> the nerd tree came in, it loads the plugin, and you basically get a, a tree version view of the directory that you start, whatever your default home directory is, and GVim or whatever directory you started it in from the terminal. Um, uh, let me see. So, what is nerd tree? We did that. Gives you the basic file operations, the basic layout. I guess I could have just skipped to the GVM within the terminal. Looks pretty much the same. You just get your extra GUI stuff with GVM. Um, then, or nerd tree, if you have. I guess in Curse's um, 
configured correctly, you can actually use your mouse in the terminal um, version, but I, it doesn't work for mine. So I now use GVAP most of the time anyway, so I, I haven't played with it. But it is designed so that you can use the mouse with the, just the text-based version. Uh, so then once, once you have it running in your tree view, um, you have some basic uh, navigation. Um, you can go through, you basically move the cursor um, over the directory or the file that you want to, um, to affect. If you're over a directory, um, a little O will toggle the state of the directory. So if it's closed, it'll open it up and show you all the children within it in the tree view. Um, if you type a big O, that will open the directory up and all recurse through it and open up all the directory subdirectories. Uh, I say here there be dragons because <laughs> if you happen to have, say, a big source directory that has lots and lots of subdirectories and lots and lots of files, I've killed my GVIM accidentally opening <coughs> up, like too, too high up in this structure. So you'd have to be a little careful with that one. Um, the return key will just open, does the same as little o, it toggles it. Um, and if you're on a file, it will actually open the file up uh, in a, a buffer and a split in the right hand panel. Um, it will do this for binary files or text files, so uh, your mileage varies on how, how much you can do with it, uh, the file once you've opened it, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, the mouse, if you're using a mouse, you can double click on the folder. Uh, it sort of basically acts as like the little O key. Um, and then a folder displays its children and a uh, file it will then open up the file in the terminal. So if we... So it always opens on the right panel? Basic, I mean, that's the basic... Um, opens up. Now, Nerdtree does have the concept of tabs. I didn't really play with it too much. Um, you can open it up like, well, in GVM you'll see a series of tabs so you can have different things open and then click to the tab so you can have different files open. But generally speaking, it you know, opens to the right. You can have it open and split like underneath if you want. So that the tree will be on sort of the upper left and then you can have splits other ways. I just I haven't gotten that far into it. Um, this is pretty much as far as I got as far as opening files and, and closing them. And if you close then um, it just takes you to that, you know, the tree view and then you if you open it back up, it'll open it. If you go to um, different directory it just opens up that file in the same same pane So it also has a, the concept of bookmarks. So you can, if you have a project that you're working on, you can bookmark it and then go to it um, directly. Um, the B key will toggle the view in the tree in the tree pane. Um, it just puts it above whatever your current tree is. Um, to add a bookmark, you would go down into the tree and um, so to you know, select either the file or the directory that you want. You type your bookmark command and then get the name. And then when you're in the tree view, over the bookmarks to delete it, you just hit uh, the delete key. The D key or the delete key? No, D. 
sorry, the D key. Um, so. Well, you definitely have to be in the right. <laughs> so there, it's, it's a capital B also. I think, yeah. So capital B will toggle the bookmark view on and off. Um, so if you want to go directly to that's a file that you've had a bookmarked, you can it'll open it up immediately. Um, think. Well, that just takes me to this directory. If you if you put the you can change the root directory, um, like what it's looking at its root, and if I think with the bookmarks, then if you go to that, it'll take you to that. Puts that as the root. Uh, currently, they're both the same. So I could. Oh, that's the one. So if you're on it, you just so then you can use it. And then, so if you want to delete it, then it's just the shift capital D. It's a capital D to delete the. So those are the basic bookmark commands. Um, <laughs> Didn't really get too far into this. You can do basic, so when you're working in the tree, you can do basic um, file um, directory and file manipulation, so you can start a new file, delete a delete a file, um, add a directory, and move move things around in it. I haven't worked with that too much. Um, mostly, was just reading about it. One thing about that is, it's the same command to add a file or a directory, but if, when you enter the thing you want to create, if you put a slash after, it creates a directory. Uh, okay. Otherwise, it creates a file. Uh, right. um, so then, these are just some of the sites that I used, and I've looked down to to um, get this far into Nerd Tree. The one nice thing it does it does have a very nice um, help manual that comes uh, with with it. Um, if you're in the tree to get to the, uh, it's just the question mark. And that's the quick menu, so you can get, you know, figure out, you know, oh, see the different commands. Um, so you can open, you know, open in a split, vertical split. Um, there are commands, so you can, you know, open, open and close the mode, you can close the parent, um, yeah, different ways to to adjust um, to close and open things. Pretty nice. Uh, then, so then, like with the tabs, you can open them in different tabs, so you can have multiple files open and, and control them uh, from there. Some tree navigation. If you're in the tree, um, like I said I'm usually been using the mouse for my navigation, so I didn't, I didn't get too far into those. And then these are some of your ways you can move trees around. And so those are things I really didn't get too far. It was definitely a very beginner's, a beginner's beginner's using of it. It is pretty nice um, when you know you've got a couple different files that you're working with in a project to uh, be able to get to them. And then you can filter the kind of things you can show hidden files. Um, and I think, like, if you're within a project, you can set it up so, like, if you're doing programming, it'll show you just, like, your C files or your C and your header files and things like that. So you can, you know, determine what you're seeing um, to, to clear out some of the clutter or, like, well, I guess uh, your hidden files would, would be, can be turned on and off. I'm 
anything. Bookmarks have really, like I said, the bookmark commands is pretty much um, the basic one I use was the bookmark and then just the delete and the short ones. You can clear all your bookmarks if you want. Um, the bookmark is permanent? They're stored within your local, uh, like, they're so the bookmark is just like a reference that NerdTree uses, and I think it's it's stored. They're stored words, when you get out. Of yeah, when you come back, yeah, they're, they're back. Yeah, it's stored in a local RC file. Yeah. And are they um, like if you have a bunch of projects, will you see the bookmarks for all of them, or if your root in the NerdTree is at one uh, project? That I hadn't. I didn't play with them that much. Yeah, I mean, so far I've that. seen. You know, they just all have appeared at the top. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can sort of set them up so that they're project specific. Um, so that's sort of all this, you know, the farther I got, um, just to give you sort of a brief introduction to see whether or not it's worth, <laughs> I guess, going to the pain of installing it. I, so far that I've played with it, I've liked it. I've used it a little bit when I was you know, writing some of this other things. So. How would you compare it with, um, just having two terminal windows open. Well, you use GVim, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, sometimes I'll do that with even GVim. I'll either have two windows open, um, or just expand it enough to do split split windows. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of nice to have the tree there and getting to the files. It's and then jumping out, you know, instead of either knowing where they are and, and doing it command wise. I mean, I just. It, it definitely gives you a little more of a a gooey feel, which I you know like. Um, I think you know. I think the more I'd use it, I think I'd probably like it a little. Uh, you know, use it a little more or learn to use the keyboards. It probably makes things a little quicker. Like I said, I haven't even figured out. Like, I can't. I think it's G. I don't know, that's to jump tabs. Like, like just to switch back and forth to get into the different windows. I always end up using my my mouse. I haven't even like <laughs> delved in far enough to figure out. I mean, it's probably a typical Vim command for. Yeah, you know, it's Control W and then a motion command. Uh, okay. So Control W and then J H K J or L. Yeah. I've just been figuring this stuff out in the last month. So. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. So that's still like. I'm sure, like, a, if you got more comfortable using all the various keyboard commands, it could be, you know. Makes them some, some things pretty nice. Uh, helps not to use the mouse. Yeah. Helps not to have the mouse available. Because I have GVim too, but I've never used it. Because yeah. so. remember, I basically only understood VI last month. Pretty much. Oh, you weren't here? Um, yeah, I was, yeah, oh, I was here for the VI. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like, do I use GVim? Sometimes I'll, I'll use Vim just in the terminal to, when I'm trying to learn and force myself not to do it. but. Sometimes if I'm just trying to do something, I'll use GVim because it's just, I'm used to, you know, I can at least find something and or do something without a little quicker, just through the menus. Um, well, here's, here's a little tip. You just hook up a taser to the arrow keys <laughs> and your mouse. It's really right. effective. You learn fast once you wake up. <laughs> so. So that's sort of my short, quick presentation du jour. Uh, I guess the only other thing I had was if I can actually get, so then you know, it's just quick to get out of the tree. And then, uh, let's see how. It does have a pretty nice um, help manual. That comes with it. So. And at one point, it even had a very. I can <laughs> used to jump into it. It has a nice like uh, opening. Oh, there it is. Down there, tree. So, but the manual is pretty nice and it goes pretty much covers everything. Uh, there you go. Any other questions? Pointed criticisms. Criticisms. Um, so. Can I add something? Sure. Uh, you can set up a toggle to make it real easy to go into nurture and out. Right. And uh, also, I put in my MIMRC so that it always shows hidden files. 
Uh, I didn't even know about the menu. I mean, that question mark's been staring at me. Every yeah. time I looked at it, <laughs> I, I never saw it. Yeah, that was the first thing I learned to use because <laughs> I could never remember anything. So yeah. I'm always question mark, what is that command? <laughs> and um, so once you set up that toggle, you just, yeah, you you can just turn it on and off with the same right. key sequence. Um, it still leads to some annoying things like it messes up your window arrangements. Mm -hmm. but, um, it's still nice to have. Right. And I never used the bookmarks, but I'm going to start doing that because that makes it even more like yeah, they, you know, a modern yeah. editor. Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty nice. All right, well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.